video footage from space tends to look a bit like this. Impressive, but kind of grainy. Sure, the moon is really far away, but then NASA sent back this ultra high definition video of a cat from a spacecraft 19 million miles away, more than 80 times the distance to the moon. And it's all down to lasers. Uh, the problem is right now with radio frequency communication, the speeds of data transfer that we can get from deep space are really kind of akin to like dial up internet speeds from the 90s. And that's where lasers come in. Radio frequency communication spreads out a lot more when transmitting from a far distance, whereas laser based communication keeps a much tighter beam. So much more of the power that is used to send the data actually gets received on Earth. The team sent this video of Tater's the cat. No, the cat itself wasn't in space. From the Psyche spacecraft, millions of miles away on its mission to the asteroid belt. We used it to demonstrate that we could send ultra HD video this quickly. And it was a little, you know, nod to, uh, to internet humor that we're using this uh, sophisticated instrument to send cat videos. <laughs> the laser sends the video back as pulses of light with each pulse representing sequences of ones and zeros, which travel millions of miles through space to be picked up by the Palomar Hill Telescope, where it's then reconstructed back into video. The whole video reached Earth in about 100 seconds. That meant the space laser had a faster broadband speed than even the broadband from the telescope to the JPL, just a few miles away. So we're actually sending the data back from the spacecraft faster than we can send it from the telescope back over to JPL. But the future of space communication might not just be about cat videos. It's set to radically transform space exploration. So one day we may have hyperspectral imagers around Mars that can um, you know, map the entire planet uh, with very, very high resolution. And using optical communication, we can actually get that data back. It will bring whole new worlds into sharper vision. And one day, humans might be the direct beneficiaries. It's still gonna be a, a bit tough to FaceTime someone on Mars because of the light delay between uh, Earth and Mars. There's no getting around the speed of light, but if an astronaut records a video for their families on Mars, um, then we can stream that back and get it to them, you know, essentially in 20 minutes or so. And when Mars is at its closest point to Earth, that video could arrive in just about three minutes. So not quite FaceTime, but if you're an astronaut on Mars, you're probably not gonna complain.